Today, I will be showing you how to create user, group and Asamba shares. Hello there. And welcome to Daniel Tech Tips channel. Now, let's get started. First, let's create a group for easy control and identification. At the dashboard screen, click on Credentials menu. Then click on the Local Groups option. On the top right, click on the Add button. A new menu will be displayed, then type the name of group you want in the name box. Leave everything as default. Once done, click on the Save button. The newly created group will be displayed in the list. Now, click on Credentials menu again. Then click on Local Users option. On the top right, click on the Add button. Type in the preferred username. Then create a strong password for the user. Reconfirm again the password. Now, we need to disable the Create Primary Group option so that we can assign the user to a group that we want. Select the group's name that we have created earlier. Leave everything as default. Once done, click on the Save button. Now, let's create another user and add the user into the same group too. The newly created users is now shown in the list. Now, let's create a new dataset. Click on Datasets menu. Click on Add Dataset button. Type in the name for the dataset. Leave everything as default. Once done, click on the Save button. This may take a while, please wait. Once completed, the new dataset will be displayed in the list. Now, we need to assign permission, click on the dataset folder. Under Permissions box, click Edit button. In the Group box, select the newly created group name. Select the access mode by checking the boxes. Once done, click on the Save button. Now, let's create a Samba share. Click on the Shares menu. Under Windows, Samba Shares option, click on the Add button. In the Path box, select the dataset folder by drop down the list and click on that folder. The share name will autofill for you. Once done, click on the Save button. When prompted, select Enable this service and click on the Enable Service button. On the Edit ACL screen, click on Add Item button at the bottom. Under the Who drop down box, select Group List. Then, in the Group box, select the group's name we have created earlier. Next, under Permissions, select all the checkboxes, which is Red, Write and Execute option. Now, click on the Save Access Control List button on the bottom. This may take a while, please wait. Now it's done. Next, is to access the Share folder from another computer. On your Windows computer, open File Explorer. Type the IP address in the path box. 
You should be prompted for credentials, proceed to key in the username and password that we have created earlier. You can also select the Remember My Credentials option for easy access in the future. Upon successful login, you will now able to see the share folder. Now, let's connect to the same folder on a Linux computer. Open the files application. Then, click on other locations on the left column. At the bottom of File Explorer, there is a Connect to Server box. Inside the box, type smb, colon, double forward slash, then the IP address. Then click the Connect button next to the box. You should be prompted for credentials, proceed to key in the username and password that we have created earlier. Once credentials have been keyed in, click on the Connect button to continue. Upon successful login, you will now able to see the share folder. Congratulations! Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.